Good morning, this is Josh at Mass Gun Works. I had a little bit of time before I scamper off to work and I uh, wanted to do a quick video about a rifle I had come into the shop. <clears throat> uh, I'm filming on a new camera. My wife uh, very graciously got me a GoPro for my birthday. So I've got a, I think it's a Hero 9 Black and it's, it's really cool. So thank you, Mrs. Mast, uh, from the bottom of my heart for this wonderful gift. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm able to do that I couldn't do with, without you. So appreciate you. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna switch here. This is a Winchester Model 52. It is a 22 long rifle. <clears throat> As you can see from the configuration, it is very obviously a target rifle. <clears throat> so I'm pretty confident that um, this is not how this weapon was purchased. The, the owner of the firearm uh, modified it to suit his needs. My customer, um, he has a lot of these really interesting guns. Um, his father was a competitive marksman and when he passed away he got all his uh, guns <clears throat> in the estate and he's the one that brought me the uh, the shoots in that I made the video out of and he's since brought me another one of those and now this he has another uh, model 52 it's an original it's unmodified um, and I think it was the first uh, generation of model 52 that came out so <clears throat> this one show you the numbers there get the camera to focus on it, it says model 52-22 LR okay and it's really hard to see the writing on the scope but this is a Lyman scope and I'm not a hundred percent but I believe that this is very similar to like an Utnural style that you would have seen um, Vietnam era and previous <clears throat> and speaking of Vietnam era this rifle right here um, was the choice rifle I believe for the United States Army when they did uh, like their competitive shooting matches. I know it's got a lot of history with uh, the military and um, the uh, competitive marksmanship teams that the military has. Um, it's a very close in design to the Model 70, which would be chambered and like 308, 30-06, 270. <clears throat> and that specific model of Winchester was uh, a choice rifle of the uh, Marine Corps uh, snipers. I believe Carlos Hathcock was uh, a famous individual that would have wielded a, a Model 70 as well. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So look up here, a very uh, large front sight base and you can put a multitude of different options of sights up there. Lyman back in their heyday had a lot of different uh, sights and apertures for this specific rifle. And this right here is a spot where you could put a, a micrometer rear sight. There's two tapped holes here, and the sight just sits up here, bolts on here, and uh, you put it on like that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna set the camera on its tripod. I'm gonna show you how to take out the bolt. This was something that, oddly enough, perplexed me for a little bit. Um, Typically on these types, you put the weapon on fire, you're gonna open the bolt, you pull the, pull the trigger, 
to release the bolt. Well, this one, you have to really pull it because there's <clears throat> the initial travel of the trigger and this isn't, isn't much, it's a very light trigger. Uh, but you have to give it a good hard pull to the rear. And there's a lug that moves out of the way. The bolt just comes right out. Okay. That's it. You got to put it back in. Same thing. Good hard pull to the rear. This one is a little ornery. There we go. It goes right in. Okay. <clears throat> the scope, something interesting about the scope, it is removable uh, for packing and transport and that kind of thing. And then you can put it right back on and you should have no change in your uh, your zero so your point of aim should always come back to normal so we undo these two bolts here and it just slides forward and this mount comes right off this is a very neat sight <clears throat> because you notice these knobs here <clears throat> this optic is uh, it's different than our, our modern sophisticated ones in the sense that when I move the turrets <clears throat> I'm not moving a, a secondary tube with a magnifier inside the scope body okay if I move this turret or this to it, I physically move the whole scope body. <clears throat> so the adjustment, um, I guess you could say, is external instead of internal. <clears throat> and then I'm not horribly familiar with all the intricacies of this, but I believe uh, this is a like a buffer system so when the rifle's fired and recoils, this helps absorb uh, some of the vibration that comes from that. <clears throat> we also have a parallax adjustment up here. And then you can adjust the rear eyepiece forward and back for eye relief. This here is an adjustable butt pad. really there we go really tough okay so you can adjust this down and up to have it comfortably fit your shoulder and it is magazine fed here's your magazine button to release I don't have a magazine for it currently I can tell you this rifle is amazing to shoot is quite heavy. Uh, I'm going to say it weighs in the neighborhood of 12 pounds. Um, it's got a full bull barrel uh, with very minimal to no taper. It's almost uh, a full inch in diameter. I did put it on a micrometer. Uh, <clears throat> this rifle has been bedded two points with some bedding compound so the the barrel has a very solid base. And then there's a screw here. Um, it's a tapered screw. It looks like a cone close to the end of it. But this band goes around the barrel. And as that screw gets tightened in, uh, it draws the barrel further down into the action. There's also a, a screw here. And there's another one here. And then there's another one up here. And if we hold this up, <clears throat> there's been a channel, and I believe this was done at the factory, uh, cut there, and there are different bipod mounts that you were able to get 
for this rifle. So, um, if any of you out there happen to know more about this scope, please leave a comment and <clears throat> uh, let me know what you know about it. I, I need to look it up. It's a very interesting scope. I've had several of them come to the shop and the more I see them, the, the more intrigued I am by them. It's older technology, but it's just, it looks really cool. And if I ever had the chance to get one, I think I'd definitely take it. So, um, <clears throat> appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Please like, subscribe, uh, email me if you want. It's massgunworks at gmail.com if you have questions or comments. Um, Hope you all have a good day, and I'm going to the firehouse. See ya.